Hey, I'm Desiree Moses, coming to you live from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. I'm thrilled to be joined by Sophie Allison, a.k.a. Soccer Mommy. Sophie, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, you played a great set at the Jefferson Theater in Charlottesville last night. We're Thank looking you. forward to seeing you again tonight at the National in Richmond for a WNRN present show. Uh, latest full-length record called Color Theory. Mm -hmm. I want to give you a big congratulations. You released a super cool deluxe set of that record, mm -hmm. which received a Grammy nomination for Best Packaging. Yeah. Um, you, like me, have an affinity for late 90s, early 2000s culture. Can you describe for our listeners what this deluxe package looks like and, and how the idea came about? Yeah, so it's a it's a binder. I wish I could take credit for all of it, but it was definitely more the people at my label um, coming up with a lot of the stuff in it. But it's a it's a big binder, and it has like you know like a pencil pouch in it with um, little soccer mommy pencils and stuff. It has stickers. Um, it has also like colorful like flexi discs of of the demos because um, the deluxe basically is the album and some selected demos um yeah it's pretty cool it reminds me of one of those old trapper keepers that, yeah. that i used to take to school totally. very cool well let's go ahead and kick it off with a song what would you like to play for us this song's called bloodstream Just a little kid, blood flowing into my room. 
Soccer Mommy live from In Your Ear Studios on WNRN, Bloodstream off the latest full-length disc, Color Theory. So, Sophie, you had a really cool concept for this record. You called it Color Theory because you sort of divided it thematically between three colors, yellow, blue, and gray. So can you talk about the theme of each color and what set that song fell into? Yeah, that, that song is actually the first on the record, and it's in the blue section, which... The whole blue section it just kind of is songs about like sadness and depression. The yellow is next, and that's about anxiety and sickness. And the gray section is about like loss and darkness, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I kind of came up with the idea, I guess, just while I was writing it, because I just was kind of separating the songs into different groups in my head a little bit and decided to go with it, I guess. Was it just sonically, okay, this group of songs sounds similar or was it more lyrically in terms of how you grouped them? It was definitely sonically. I mean, it was a little of both, I guess, but the the, the sound definitely was a, a big part of it. And obviously, I mean, there, there are songs on the record that literally have colors in the titles as well. So those ones obviously stuck out as going in certain sections. Right. Now, again, we've touched on this a little bit, but something I can relate to is sort of your affinity for late 90s, early 2000s culture and just sort of retro ways of recording. Let's put it that way. So you all did record this to tape and then went from there. So can you talk about the recording process of this record? Yeah, we did We did the live, um, the live ones, like the live part of the take with the band. We put it through... Um, a tape machine to get some of that nice warmth. And then we also used a lot of um, really cool like sampling keyboards. And there were a bunch of like floppy disk sounds that we got to use and stuff that all were really cool. Um, so yeah, yeah, we kind of went with that. I love that. I don't think the latest generation knows what a floppy disk is, but I remember <laughs> having those old yeah. things. Now you got a great crew with you here. We go ahead and introduce the band for us. Yeah, yeah. Playing, playing guitar right here is Julian Powell. Playing guitar and synth is Rodrigo Avendano. Playing drums is Rollam Haas. And over here on bass, we have Nick Widener. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for being here. We're looking forward to seeing Soccer Mommy tonight at the National in Richmond for a WNRN Presents show. Doors are at 6.30. The show's at 7.30. So if you want to kick it off with another song for us? Yeah, this one's called Circle the Drain.
Sprinkle the Drain, Soccer Mommy, live on WNRN from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond, playing a WNRN present show at the National tonight. Now, Sophie, you, like me, are a huge fan of Nintendo, and so the, the packaging for Color Theory, this latest record, where you'll find that track, Circle the Drain, was kind of fashioned to look like an old Game Boy cartridge. Do I have that right? Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love that. And then last year, um, you did a one-off track, Rom-Com 2004, mm-hmm. and then you actually did a reprise of that, uh, Rom-Com 2021, I believe. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about the music videos that were recorded for those tracks? Because it has you as sort of a Nintendo me, um, and then there was an interactive element too. And I, when I saw it, I just thought, yes, Nintendo. Yeah, no, totally. I mean, I love that kind of stuff. And specifically, the song Rom-Com 2004 was very um, electronic, a little more than I usually do. Um, And yeah, I mean, it was also, obviously, it was during the pandemic when we were working on that. And I also just, I hate recording music videos. Um, (laughs) And that kind of came up as an idea. And yeah, we totally went with it. I was like, I just want this to look like Kirby Air Ride, like, free free play, basically. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it was really fun. And then you had sort of a soccer mommy, almost avatar generator for yeah. fans, right? hmm yeah. Yeah, that's great. Soccer Mommy Live on WNRN, playing the national tonight for a WNRN Presents show. Go ahead and get into one last song for us from Color Theory. Yeah, this one's called Gray Light. Thank you. 
Soccer Mommy, live from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond on WNRN, playing a WNRN present show tonight at the National in Richmond. Doors at 6.30, shows at 7.30. That track, Gray Light, is off the last full-length record, Color Theory. But Sophie, you've been working on some new stuff. Um, what's the title of the new record? The new record is called Sometimes Forever. All right, and that's coming out this summer. Can you tell us a little bit about putting this project together? Yeah, um, it was really fun. I mean, I... Obviously, over the pandemic and everything, I was just doing a lot of writing and finished writing an album and um, got to go work with um, Dan LaPatton, who is awesome and an amazing person and um, a great producer. And yeah, we kind of set out to make something a little bit different. Not all of it's too far left field, but there's definitely some, some new stuff for people to hear, which is exciting. Yeah, so did y'all all get together in the same room in the studio again, you know, kind of post-quarantine times, had to feel good to all get together again? Yeah, I mean, and like, you know, we're all really good friends, so it was it was obviously great to be able to like work, you know, have something new to work on, especially when we had been, you know, on hiatus, basically, like everybody else. Um, so yeah, it was great. Awesome. Well, you want to give us a little taste of it. What track would you like to preview for us? Yeah, we're going to play a song called Shotgun for you guys. Thank you. 